Okay, everyone, I'm down at the bottom of the Wailing Dell here, because after searching for quite some time in vain, uh, I realized that the Daedric Left Pauldron is indeed the only one of the Daedric Pauldrons that's located down here. Uh, searched around for quite some time before I got very frustrated and then realized okay, I'm going to have to check on this. So I did and found out, well, that was wrong. So, well, talk about timing. My levitation ran out just at the right time. But, at any rate, as I was saying, also found out that that is the only Daedric Curus, uh, the only unenchanted Daedric Curus uh, that you can find. Game. Oh, hey, acrobatics. Outstanding. Let's uh, make sure I don't die here as I drop down from the top. But, so, you know, hey, mistakes were made. It happens. And in order to get that Daedric Curus, I had to drop my Ebony War Axe, which is fine because I already have an Ebony War Axe sitting at home which I can go retrieve at any time. If I remember correctly, this Basilica of Divine Whispers is... Well, hell. That was interesting. But yeah, the Basilica of Divine Whispers contains, I believe, yep, a statue of every... Daedric Prince. So, there's uh, the lovely Azura, Boethia. I can never remember which one's Malakath and which one's Marun Stegen. I think that's Malakath. I just passed Marun Stegen, and of course there was Moloch Ball on the wall there. And I just did a really big loop around. Oh well. I think I've found everything that is pertinent or unique in here, so let's go around the right way this time. And we actually came back through here and found the uh, pure oil tar that we'll need later. Is it pure oil or pyoral or now I have to check pyre oil tar. So actually saved ourselves some trouble. I hope this is the way out. Actually saved ourselves some trouble. We'd no longer have to. Now this isn't the way out. Although all of these skeletons here, if I remember correctly, have very groovy magical uh, arrows on them. But I'm not interested because there's nothing else really in the Grand Stair. Considering that I am almost maxed out on encumbrance, I think it's time to finally head on out of here. Of course I want to 
crawl through this space. It's time to get the hell out of here. Alright, now if I can only remember how to get back to where I was. Alright, back to Red X Forge, I surmise. Second there, I thought I was stuck. So I have this third Dwemer satchel charge that I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with, but I'll hang on to it for now. It's going to be a long walk back. something uh, interesting to regale all of you with while I make this long journey back. Unfortunately, I do not. What is that up there? Let's see, now I gotta check this out. Oh, I don't have enough charges. How about my amulet of levitating? Yes, I do. Okay. What? There we go. Uh, looks just like a Dwemer light bulb. Well, I'm so glad I wasted a levitation charge on that. You can't blow up this pile of rocks, can you? No, apparently not. back out to what I'm sure is going to be a lovely day in Mornhold. Alright, if this is the way I just came from, why is, why is it so badly grayed out on the map? we get to walk past all of the carnage that we have wrought. There's something a little satisfying about that. Turn it. I don't remember which way is the way out. If it's Hall of Whales or Hearth... I think it's Hearthfire Hall. Yes, it is. Good. do and Morrowind, but it's exactly what I'm doing, platforming. Uh, why do I seem to be stuck? Come on. Alright, why is this so much harder than it should be? Come on. Yes, I know I could have just used my levitation, but I really didn't want to. Anything interesting down here? Uh, apparently not, other than some mushrooms. It's a damn ladder. There we go. storms and worn hold. Right, what I'm going to do though now is take off this take off the ring of Azura and put the ring of Finister back on. Alright, so wonder what so, the you want something. The weather is hot, but nothing to be concerned about. Go about your business. Of course that's what the high ordinators would say. That's what Almalexia told them to say. I wonder what the Royal Guard 
sharks have to say. Yeah, well, they say the same thing. Let's see what Almalexia has to say. Sister Almalexi, you got some splaining to do. What may I do for you, my child? In my wisdom, I have sent you to activate the car sand of Chum. Tell me you have accomplished this task for your gods. You don't go outside very much, do you? Otherwise, you'd know. Well done. This is the effect I was looking for. Ashstorms in mournholes. My magic will prevent anyone from further tampering with this machine. You will, of course, keep silent about this. My powers are a bit drained, mortal. They are not gone. My ordinators will take care of the remains of this end of time's cult in their leader. You have done well. Okay. Yes, the car stands of charms created the web just as I had hoped. And it will remain this way until I am satisfied these people have learned the lesson. You got some issues, honey. That's all I'm saying. All right, folks, we're going to have another little jump cut here as I, uh, as I head back to, <clears throat> excuse me, as I head back to my home in Balmora and drop off some of this stuff, I'm not going to bore all of you and make all of you fast forward while I go through the arduous process of going back, getting transport to Morrowind, yada, 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 so quick jump cut incoming and uh, I'll see you guys on the flip side okay jump cut complete and now not really sure what to do uh, let's see what was it that Helseth told me this reports I'm only when I've learned all that I can Okay, well, I know, I guess we go back and talk to Alma Alexia again. And of course I go the wrong way. One more time. And of course I'm walking into the wind now, so I'm moving at like half speed. My people look upon the elements and see there written a divine testament to my lordship. Did ever any other god display such dominion over the earth and sky? But now, with a heavy heart, I must lay a sad burden upon you. I bid you bring the peace of understanding to my missing hand. This should be good. One of my most faithful guards, one of my very own hands of Almalexia, pledged to honor and protect and serve me in all ways, 
has lost his mind. Salus Vagor has abandoned me, and now spews vile and slanderous untruths about me to any who would listen. I pity him, and know he is not responsible for his actions. To view the splendor of a god may drive even the strongest mortal mad. But now he presents a threat to us, and he is very dangerous. I fear you may not be able to spare his life. Okay. Now Salus Vaylor haunts the streets and sewers of Mournhold. His wild, distracted manner frightens the people. But even my ordinators are afraid to confront so terrible a weapon master and war wizard. I beg you, seek out Salus Vaylor. Relieve us of this threat to my beloved people, and bring peace to my sacred city of Mormon. Salus Vaylor was once my most trusted hand and faithful servant. But recently his behavior has been erratic. He has been quiet and unresponsive. I am afraid I may have allowed him to come too close. Uh -huh. It is impossible you were that the Lord him. God might meet on the ground, but perhaps he had deluded himself. I regret his lamentable state, and am sorry that I may have been partly responsible for his condition. Yep, 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 yep. She was doing it. From what I hear, there's trouble at the palace. Okay, so what do you know about Almalexia's lover? Nothing, apparently. Okay. So I've got to try and find this guy in the middle of all this fucking storm, huh? Lovely. Salus Valor. A pure reputation is wealth enough for me, Sarah. Uh, Take care, stranger. Well, what about these other ordinators? No. This is proving to be a real pain in the ass. Oh, there he is. Order a new dog. Well. You in Well, that was that was quick. done with this stuff. Levitation magic doesn't work here, but oh, wait a minute. I can't loot his body at all That seems like an oversight to me All right, so is there a Alchemist somewhere around here Is that way? Temple is that way. Uh, I need to get to the 
bizarre. Well, at least I get everything 30 seconds at a time. I mean, at least I get my, my strength fortified for 30 seconds at a time. First, I gotta make it quicker. I'm gonna run out of charges on this darn amulet. I may be going the wrong way, but I sure as heck hope not. Oh, at least now I'm gonna have the wind at my back, which will move me a bit faster. Alright, so what do we got here in the bazaar? Magic shop, armory, bookseller, clothier, pawnbroker, trader. Well, I hope the magic shop is what I need. Come on, come on, come on. Damn it. There. <laughs> Levitation magic doesn't work here. Convenient. Please tell me they've got Restore Strength potions here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, Barter, haha. Fortify, Exclusive, Restore Agility, Restore Endurance, Restore Magicka. Speed to Strength, thank you. I'll buy that for a dollar. Wait, don't tell me this is wearing off. So now it's saying I have a strength of 170. Oh, that's because my strength is fortified. Duh. Alright. Now that... Uh, interesting, the bottom part of the High Ordinator's armor doesn't appear to be shaded pro properly. Alright, well now that I don't have to worry about my, uh, my strength for the moment, I gotta go back to God's Reach and, uh, figure out If I can or can't loot that guy's body now that my strength is pro Now wait just one damn minute. Why is my strength not back all the way yet? My strength is still down at 97. Son of a bitch. I guess this is one of the problems with playing a character with no magic abilities whatsoever. Tell me he's got like a regular restore strength. If not, I can just wait 24 hours and buy one. Standard, standard. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to wait then. That's fine. From where do you hail? Well, I should only have to wait until 1 a.m. the next day, so that would be 7, 8 hours, 9 will work. Oh, well, where are you, buddy? All right. He's I'm a little listening. hyper. Exclusive restore strength. Gimme. All right. Now that my strength will have been totally refilled. Damn it. Let's see if we can't get over to... Uh, these ash storms at night make it really dark. Much better. 
that again. For about the eighth time that I've tried to say this, let's go over to... Back to God's Reach and see if we can't loot that guy's body. Because I'm sure he's got a lot of good shit. Heavy. 226 versus... 